morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. Book of Genesis chapter 39. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard brought him from the Ishmaelite who had taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph, and he prospered, and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, Joseph found a favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household, and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. It's amazing. Because of Joseph, Egyptian master Potiphar, he was so prosper. Yeah? But because of Joseph, but not because of Joseph, because of Almighty God. Verse 2, the Lord was with Joseph, and he prospered. When God be with you, yeah, when God be with you, you are, you are prosper, you are okay, you are blessed. Therefore, our concern, Almighty God be with me or not, this is our concern, this is our checklist. We have to examine our heart. Lord God, you are be with me or not. Verse 2 says, Genesis chapter 39, the Lord, the Lord was with Joseph, Adonai with Joseph. That's very, very important. If the Lord God be with you, you are okay. Wherever you go, you will be prosper. And verse 3, when his master Potiphar saw Joseph, you know what he saw? The Lord was with Joseph. Egyptian man Gentile man saw Joseph. Joseph is different. Why? Because Joseph just be with the Almighty God. This is very, very important. Wherever we go, if God be with you, yeah, you will do greater things. When Moses received the, the calling and then Moses' prayer, Oh God, I cannot go. But God promised with Moses, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. When God be with you, yeah, you'll be okay. Egyptian master, Gentile, and he saw that the Lord was with Joseph. And the Lord gave him success in everything he did. Do you understand? Before he prosper or success, or whatever he do, he be with the Almighty God. How about you, brother, sister? Do you be with Almighty God? If you don't be with God, asking God, Lord, why I'm not be with you? Would you help me? That is why when David committed adultery, committed sins, do you know what David did? He prayed to God, Lord, do not remove the, the Spirit of God. Do not remove the Holy Spirit from me. Why? If the Holy Spirit depart from you, you are only flesh left. Only flesh left. Most miserable men in this world, especially for Christian, I call, I talk about the, the ordinary Christian, not born again. They don't have Almighty God. They are like a religious. They are like a, some mostly Roman Catholic. Oh, I'm Roman Catholic. They are very proud of the Loma Catholic, but they don't have the personal relationship with Almighty Jesus. You have to have this relationship with Jesus. And if you look at the verse 5, from the time he put in charge of his household and all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of Egyptian 
because of Joseph. Do you understand? That Potiphar, his household, even in the field, so prosper and blessed. Why? Because of Joseph. But Joseph, just ordinary man like you and me. But Joseph's different is that the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. Now, if Almighty God be with you, you will be prosper. You will, you will glorify God. And the blessing of the Lord was upon, upon uh, everything in the, 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 the Potiphar's head, yeah, both in the house and in the field. Because of you, yeah, because of your household shall be saved. Because of you, this land, United Kingdom, be blessed. Because of you, wherever you go, whatever you do in your workplace, even in your school, and uh, in any situation, yeah, will be blessed. Your friend and family will be blessed. If you look at the Genesis chapter thirty-nine, Genesis chapter thirty-nine, verse twenty, um, verse twenty. Jo Genesis chapter 39 verse 20 Joseph's master took him and put him in prison the place where the king's prisoners were confirmed, confined but while Joseph was there in prison the Lord was with Joseph do you understand? he was a slave in the Potiphar's house but he accused by Potiphar's wife he ended up in prison doesn't matter where you are. The matter is, you still be with God or not? The Lord was Joseph. The Lord was uh, with Joseph in prison. Can you see that? He was with God, yeah, outside the prison. But when he was in prison, still the Lord was with Joseph. And he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of a prison warden. This is very important. He received a favor. Why? Because of the Lord God be with you, Joseph. This afternoon, um, landlord <laughs> they come and they check it out, inspect, inspect the come to check. But we don't worry. But one thing we concern we are be with Lord Jesus or not. This is the most important. If we will be with the Lord Jesus, yeah, you will receive the amazing favor and grace. This is very important. So the word and put Joseph in charge of all those he had uh, held in the prison and he saw made a responsible for all that was done there. Prisoner become a responsible person. Why? Because the Lord was with Joseph. And verse 23, the warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Yeah? Prison officer, they don't need to worry about... Um, you know, he, the finance or worry about the prison, you know, official job. Why? Because of Joseph. Joseph was a prisoner, but Joseph's job is look like a prison officer's job. Can you imagine how God exalted him? How God blessed him? Can I ask you? If you live properly and be with the Lord Jesus, be with the Almighty God, whatever you do, you will be prosper, brother. You will be prosper. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because of you, whoever be with you, surround you, they bless their prosper. I was in on the mountain yesterday to prepare for the, the this Friday meeting. And then we prayed and prayed. Brother Harvey told me, Pastor Paul, Brother Mordecai, he helped me to read the Bible. I'm so thankful. And then he appreciate about you, because of you his faith is increased. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And this is a proper life. Because of you, somebody start a new life. Amen. Yeah. If if somebody start a new life, that is a 
people cook fruit. Six people gave their life to Jesus yesterday in, on the mountain. Thanks be to God. On the mountain. Two Sudanese Muslim, the Muslim guy from Sudan, they are refugees. They arrive in here recently in UK. And then they couldn't speak English properly. And I know our sister, she speaks Sudanese. I call her, can you imagine? On the mountain, she preached the gospel in local language, Sudanese language. And these two Muslim guys gave their life to Jesus. <laughs> that is a miracle. Muslim, two men, uh, said the Lord Jesus. Yeah, praise God. The Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Whatever he does, uh, so prosper, so blessed. Because of the Lord God was with you, Joseph. This is my prayer for you and me. Oh God, help me. I'll be with you all the days of your life. Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God be with you. God be with you. Oh, Emmanuel. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Joseph, yeah, so prosper. Because the Lord was with Joseph in Potiphar's house, even in prison. Wherever he go, he was so blessed because the Lord was with Joseph. Lord, we ask you, we no longer live, but Christ lives in us. We love to keep Jesus in our heart. Lord, forgive all our sins and transform us, and we're working together with Almighty Jesus. We bless your name. We remember Emmanuel God be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please keep on praying together for on Friday mountain prayer this Friday. And pray for mission to Bulgaria on the 14th of August the next month. 14th to 18th of August. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Be blessed. Yeah.